Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Shout out to 78. I seen Deontay Water did an exclusive interview with him. He dropped it today. Merry Christmas, happy holidays to those who celebrated as well. But Wilder, who came off a loss over the weekend to a Joseph Parker in this exclusive interview, he talked about several different things. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is he did notice that. Well, he admitted that his timing was off. And, uh, you know, if you watch the full interview, he talks about several things. He talks about just personal things that happened to him outside the ring, which affects can affect things. He didn't say specifically, but just people close to him have done things. And trust me, I understand when he, when he comes from that. And then he talked about he also brought up the inactivity and that his timing was off. Now, Wilder feels like he is a more superior fighter than Joseph Parker. And I think most people did. I believe the bets were that he was going to win as well. But to the naysayers, because in these groups I've been in, I've been saying this and people have been attacking me. Wilder's only, he's only really fought one round prior to the Joseph Parker fight, which is October last year. And before that, he didn't, his last fight was against Tyson Fury in a loss. So in reality, he's only, he only fought one round in two years. Now, I, I looked up Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker fought January this year. He fought in May. He, and he fought in October. So, he was already at an advantage. Now, I did see where they were saying, Frank Warren said it was a, was that the freezer chamber or whatever that they in. Deontay Water, he didn't say that at all. He just said that, you know, the spark wasn't necessarily there. And he just, his timing, every, everything was off. Now, this has been my issue with the PBC fighters. is uh, Most of them are inactive like that, right? Uh, Broner was inactive a lot. Leo Santa Cruz. Lamont Peterson. Um, Tank Davis goes through his moments of inactivity. Ryan Garcia. Uh, I mean, the, the list goes on and on. And it's not like these fighters are, okay, you can't fight with PBC. So now you're going to top rank or you're going to go to, you know, ES, uh, ESPN, the zone. It's, it's like they're stuck in whatever deal that they're in. And people people will, will hit me up like, oh, well, they're making millions of fight. But yeah, if you're only fighting once every two and a half years, after you didn't pay taxes and trainers fees and managers get a third of it. Not only are you not making money, but then you're not tuning your craft. Joshua fought at least three times this year. And it's like, yeah, if Wilder had three or two, even if he had a filler fight first, I could, I would understand that. Like, even like with Earl Spence, right? People talk about, oh, Terrence Crawford be Earl Spence. And yes, if you go back and watch my first videos, I had Earl Spence losing to Terrence Crawford. I was 50-50, but if I had a bet on it, it was Terrence. But Terrence Crawford had a filler fight between the Earl Spence fight. Earl fought, um, it was Ugas. And then that was it. He didn't fight for over a year. While Crawford had a filler fight on Black Prime. And... We just, they, I don't know. The PBC, I don't know why they're not keeping their fighters active like that. So, what's next? Well, well, let, let, let me finish this. Wild, are we riding with you, man? you real fans. I've been here since before he was a heavyweight champion. I remember when 78 was interviewing him back in the day. 78, shout out to him for getting that exclusive. Um, oh, he did mention that Joshua didn't want to fight him. He could tell, and I could tell as well. Joshua was all serious ever since he had that meltdown with Usyk. And even then, I was back then still sticking up for the brother. But he had a meltdown with Usyk. You wasn't going to fight Wilder. You told Radio Raheem that you wanted to fight a world champion or be in line for that versus fighting Wilder. Wilder finally lose. You and Eddie Hearn, y'all happy before, y'all, before the fight even start. And you smiling and hugging people. You back to the old you. 
And it just, I just hate that about this sport. I love it, but I hate it because some of the biggest fights we don't get to see. We didn't get to see Riddick Boat Lydix Lewis fighting a prime. We didn't get to see Roy Jones, Bernard Hopkins fighting a prime. We didn't get to see when Roy Jones was heavyweight champion, him and Mike Tyson couldn't fight. We didn't get to see Jared Hur and uh, Charlo fight for Undisputed because of politics. It's, it's, and this is why, and I'm going to keep saying this, why UFC is a growing sport because you actually see the fights that you want to see. And Wilder did mention, though, he want to fight the best and that he feel like that they froze him out. Yeah, go back to when Joshua fought Klitschko and uh, uh, even with even with all of that. He caught out Tyson Fury. He never even mentioned Wilder. Then when Wilder name guy came up, it was like he was afraid to talk about him. And we can this go all the way back to 2017, man. Barely even spoke to him at the the day of reckoning press conference. So I don't know. This Man, Wilder, whatever you do, I support you, man. He said he's going to be around for a while. I'm going to still support the fights I paid for this last one. I just hope that he stays more active in 2024, man. You need to be fighting. If you're going to stay in the sport, Wilder got to be fighting two, three times a year. I don't know what deal he has with Al Heyman or whatever, but come on, Al. You got you to gotta start keeping these fighters active. I know he got a deal now with uh, Amazon, but... I believe it's only, what, 12, 13 fights a year? So I don't know. They got to figure something out. So just tell me what y'all think.